Hi boys and girls, here's how we're going to use our paints today to paint our castles that you just got finished tracing. You will each get a brush, remember that we hold the brush by the squishy part, and you have a golden paint in front of you, and you are sharing a tray of these neon paints also. These paints are sleeping, we need to wake them up with water. First, let's paint something with our gold paint. You don't need to add water to the gold paint. You can give the gold paint a swirl and then slide on the side and then find something gold to paint. I painted the doors of my castle gold. You can paint a tower gold if you want, a small tower gold. I think I'm also going to paint this part up here with my gold paint. Notice that I'm staying on the toes of my brush. I'm not scooting around on the bottom. I am painting carefully inside the lines. If my paintbrush runs out of paint, I'm not going to press down harder. I'm just going to dip it and slide it back in the paint container. Carefully painting inside of my Sharpie lines. When you're done, paint the bottom of your water cup, slide on the side. Please don't tap your brush. It makes water drops all over everything. Now we're ready to paint with our neon colors. These are sleeping, just like the other paints that we used. We need to wake them up. You're going to get water from your cup, add it to the paint, and kind of spin around on the toes of your brush. Don't press down and scrub really hard. Your brush will get ruined, and that will make your brush and Mrs. Miller very sad. You do need to add a nice puddle of water to your paint so they start waking up and become something that you can use on your paper. When you see that your brush is turning the color and it's going to look a little bit like sticky here with paint, now I can paint it on my paper. Again, I'm painting on the toes of my brush, taking my time. When nothing is coming off my brush, it's time to go back over and add more paint to your brush. If this is dry here, you have to add more water to wake your paint back up. It keeps falling asleep. Stay inside your lines and every shape of your castle gets a different color. We are going to make these the most colorful castles in all the land. Add paint to your, add water to your paint so that it is able to put on your paper. Clean your brush off between colors. I'm going to make this part in here pink. The pink is sleeping. Take the time you need. Do you see how I'm adding three brushfuls of water to my pink paint? I'm spinning around on my circles, round and round and round. We wanna stay on the toes of our brush. We don't wanna scrub back and forth. And when it seems like I'm getting my pink on my brush, I am ready to paint. And I have to really stay tippy, tippy toes right here because I have some small places to paint inside of. Carefully pulling your brush along. Your brush doesn't like to be pushed that way. Your brush kind of likes to be pulled along as we go. Nice, I'm gonna finish painting my picture while you watch. on my castle when you are finished please don't pick your paper up because it might be very wet and we don't want the paints to drip down 